All right, so now hopefully everybody can hear. It's, it's been a struggle, but I'm using a mobile app just to kind of give you guys context of what's been going on. I'll give this another shot and make sure that the audio is working. And I'm just going to put a comment test audio. Okay, I can hear, so we're good. All right, I'll try to keep up with com comments now. Sorry about that. Wow, that really ate up some time. That was not cool. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, yesterday was an interesting learn. I had dragged my computer all the way into the garage from my office space, and I was just, it was way too much hassle, just didn't really jive with what I was trying to do and I was like asking myself if I'm going to do a daily painting I really cannot be messing around with trying to um, I cannot be uh, messing around with trying to how do you say set up and tear down every day because I need to use that computer in my office and and do other stuff and it's just it's just too much it's just way too much um, not digging I just was like I am this is gonna work so uh, so we're gonna try this again but this time on a mobile, because it's just easier to set the mobile up and at least do one camera. Um, so, and I can hear at least the audio seems to be much better than it was. I have a different mic. So I have a, a, a Rode style mic and I was really worried that it wasn't gonna work. Um, at first because but it, it it's working so we're, we're good for now um, so I'm happy about that so happy Tet to everybody uh, out there if you're celebrating or Chinese New Year um, if you happen to celebrate it happy New Year or, and me and my wife managed to find the one um, the one Chinese restaurant that was open. Uh, I don't blame them. I almost felt bad. I gave them a tip for being open, but my wife was craving craving uh, Chinese, so that's what we did. All right. I'm feeling much better about this setup, at least. So. Just trying to find the line of action here and some interesting things going on. I did a digital painting of this before, but I wanted to try to do a, a um, oil painting of it, at least for fun. So hope that I've got the lines right. So I usually like to block. This is typically how I like to do things. I just block things in. And it looks like 
if you know I'm hoping that this canvas isn't dropping looks like it's fitting in okay but on my preview it doesn't <laughs> so I'm like is my I do have a precarious setup this time which means it could you know the phone could fall <laughs> but we shall hopefully uh, avoid that let's not have a phone that falls because I'm running it off my phone on battery power so but I feel pretty confident that um, this will work for now and if not then I'll go get an adapter and I'll spend the extra money getting that adapter personally it would have been nice if they'd done USB C because I think this would have been better but the phones didn't come out with USB C this later to go around it just didn't so but you know hey good phone I'm enjoying it I like it better than my big one I I actually got one of the um what do you call it? the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it just it just turned out to be way just too big for me. I mean, I like I love the screen. The battery life was excellent and everything, but man, it just was too big. So that said, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to Twitch and then we'll see if that is streaming as well. says I'm offline. Well, that's, that's going to drag my channel. Oh, no, it says I'm live. Okay, go figure. If I see you back there, let's check out YouTube. Let's see if I'm on YouTube Tubes. I think I'm honestly thinking about just going to YouTube. It's just too much work to try to but I don't know this is part of the reason why I'm trying to this app because I can stream to YouTube no problem directly within the app but trying to share it with everyone else and try and capture everyone in the stream that's where it's kind of like how do you reach everyone at once and that's what's proving to be a little bit elusive so far so the most viewership I seem to get is on Facebook I'd love to be able to convert everybody just to go to YouTube and watch me. But that's not how the world works. So I'm going to go to you guys. Um, let's see here. Um, there's a link to that. Yeah, I kind of changed my clicker over here. Oh, yeah, we're live. So looks good. And okay, yeah, the video looks good. All right. Um, no. Uh, so yeah, that's working. And I can see someone said hello. So there we go. So all of that's working. I'm going to start making some marks here and slowly start trying to get some things going here. And let's see here. I'm almost ready to put the brayer on this. Almost. Yeah, let's do this now. I like doing this part. This is one of my favorite parts. Just allows me to kind of mass in shapes and then kind of refine and not worry about being perfect. That keeps me from trying to be perfect, so to speak. I'm going to 
probably need some more yellow ochre. And I think I'm going to start putting some red in here because my red is almost dried out. This light has, as you can see here, exploded. And because of that, my red is like nearly hard to get out. So I got to start using it. I'm going to lose it basically I've tr I hate this because you know these tubes are expensive um, so yeah it's not exactly my favorite when when tubes like that decide to crap out on me because there's a lot of good paint still left or was so um let's see what we can do about that and I wish there was a great way to snap top because I can never seem to like close these these here I can never seem to close it doesn't matter what brand it is I just can't seem to ever like close this uh, quickly so like if it was like a snap top that would be like super awesome so yeah that would be super awesome all right Go ahead and keep trying here. I'll clean up some of my paints from last time. I didn't get a chance to prepare. Best laid intentions laid to waste. trying to find where the light falls on this. That's the tricky part is just finding the right light on this to f get it to fall in the right spot. There. And then put this here. I think I've got something there, so I'll try to add some more other stuff here. Mm. Two. Let's go back in there with some white. Make some marks there. So, <clears throat> all right. of there we go a little bit darker I don't know I think I'm gonna need to dumb it down to black in there there you go try to get some dark areas in here at least trying to find some so 
So, um, let's see here. What else is new? Um, I don't really have any news. I've been, I think I've been talking about, I have some workshops coming up and I just got word that I sold a painting with the, um, Glavin Cosin, Glav Cosin, um, gallery. So I was really, um, stoked about that. Uh, so yeah, when, when you sell a painting, it's always a good feeling. It's, it's kind of, uh, affirmation <laughs> your paintings don't suck <laughs> someone likes it so yeah it's always a, it's always a nice it's always a nice feel when when someone is willing to part money uh for your work and appreciate it you know that your work your ideas have value that you know someone's taking it so yeah very appreciative when that happens now if we can sell a um you know, 900 more paintings, I could get my dream car and whatnot, wouldn't that be great? So is anybody there, out there watching, do you have a dream car? Um, is there a car that you dig? Um, if you had a million dollars, what would you get? So, I will share mine. I don't think it's any secret, really, but um, my dream car would be a 1978 Trans Am. And it would be, um, it would be, I'm debating about the colors. I mean, right now, I would love to have an orange one. I don't want the Smoking Bandit one. Definitely don't want that one. Um, I would love to have an orange Trans Am uh, with a uh, black outline of the Firebird on it. I think that would be super cool. Something different that nobody's really, it's out there. Nothing out there, you know. Or to have like one of those metallic blue ones with the red firebird on it and have some red accents, so kind of like blue and red. I, I kind of think that would be super fun and something different. So it wouldn't be kind of associated with the Smokey and the Bandit. Um, yeah, so that would be my dream car. I'm probably going a little bit earlier in here, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm just trying to head's got to tilt more so I'm gonna smudge it because I can I'll do that a little bit and just to kind of make sure that I have the right tilt for the head because I don't think I do that's a little bit better and So yeah, we'll try that and see how that works. And let's see, do, 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 do. we're gonna go ahead and try to define that channel a little bit. And I think I can give it a red in there. I know I do because I can see the photo. I can't do the reference photo and the painting at the same time, so sorry about that. Well, let's do this. I'm gonna oopsie. That's the beauty of painting is just to be able to smudge and mark in where you want. So <clears throat> It's pretty quiet today. I had a lot of people yesterday, but um, today is crickets. That's all right. I'm not going to worry about it. And so I hope everybody else is doing good. So, yeah, we were talking about dream cars, and I would like a Trans Am 78. Either orange or metallic blue. No, no smoking the bandit style. I'm not feeling that at all. I mean, it'd be cool. I mean, if I had my druthers, but I'd rather have, you know, the colors I would want. Do something different, you know. So, let's see here. Let's make some marks here. 
And let's see here. I'm trying to imply the lips a little bit. I don't think I've got the angle to face those. The red butt's bugging me. Yeah, it's not. So we'll just try to. See if I can get what I'm looking for out of this. So used to working with flats, and now it's you know trying to go out of my comfort zone with this brush. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. So Let's go ahead and see about adding a little bit of there. Just a little indication that there's a phone there. Not much. I don't want to go too much right now. Just something to kind of give that indication. Let's see here, and then more of the white shirt, kind of get that. And let's see if I can, I don't like the way that's going. Let's try here. That's a little bit, that reads a little bit better maybe. I'm not sure. Let's try to go here and go a little bit brighter. I don't want to go too much though, just to kind of make sure I'm kind of getting my values right. I'm going to step back. I've got the heater behind me now, so i got to make sure I don't burn myself. I'm going to step right back in my heater. It's the only thing that's keeping me warm though. It's still cold in the garage. So I'm looking for springtime. Um, so I guess... Uh, that um, was a groundhog, that stupid groundhog is supposed to come out and tell us, uh, you know, five, you know, five, was it four or more weeks of winter or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not buying it necessarily. I don't know about you guys. I think it's a scam. I think the whole thing is a scam. I remember when I was like in third grade and I was like, how does this animal figure out that there's going to be more <laughs> winter or spring? I remember that when I was a young kid. I was like, this doesn't seem right. This goes and defies all the logic we've been taught in school. And, but you know, they're lying. They're lying to us about it. <laughs> it's another Easter bunny. So. neckline there a little bit and soft in here I'm just not getting the marks I want out of this and just keep on plugging away and see if it sticks one thing I do like about this is that it does allow me to mix a little bit with this brush Probably a little bit too much, but you know, that is what it is. All right, let's try to tighten up the face just a little bit because I'm still bugged out about it. I just there's something I want it. I want it to happen, but it's not happening yet. So I've got to kind of go ahead and make some stuff happen. And I'm not sure this is the brush, but I'm gonna try make it happen and it's not happening there all right let's see what other brushes i have at my disposal i have a flat that i was trying to use let me see if i can get that to work sometimes you know you just need the right brush to do the right it's the right tool sometimes the right tool to do the right job um and I'm smoothing it out so I'm not really crazy about that but if I can get 
a semblance of what I'm trying to get at, maybe. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll just be a big failure. I don't know. That's the joy of painting. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Forrest Gump. So, as it is right now, I have nobody following me. So, interesting. And, yeah, interesting. And yet, I'm not surprised to some degree that I don't have anybody. And I just think it's. I don't know. I mean, part of me is thinking, well, maybe I should just stick to YouTube and just push out videos and not worry about trying to do live. But I miss the interaction. So, give that a shot. Give Still give this a shot. I'm not going to give up on it for. I'm just going to keep plugging away to see if I can find. Get something to work. Yeah, all right. So now. I think I'm. Let's see if I can sculpt this the right way. May not work for me. But ah, there's so many things that can go wrong on a painting. So many things. So I kind of figured this is what would happen: is that Facebook would kind of put my stuff out there, maybe a little bit, and then the next day would say, "Nope, we want you to pay. We want you to fork up, buddy." And, you know, that's capitalism. I was thinking about working on a bigger Facebook. I just was so into, um, I was getting indecisive. I've got to get a mat that's warmer. Because I'm, I've been having foot problems still. And I can't seem to get the right feel and anybody been watching the book of Fett lately or in, into it at all because it's been quite interesting to say the least um, the last one oh let's try this one this one I haven't used this one in a while I think I got this when I was in Cape Ann yeah, it's interesting. I, I like the fact that uh, the Mandalore came back into the episode, or they featured a little bit of them. And a lot of people are screaming, "Doug, you spoiled it for me!" Hey, you've had a little bit of time. Uh, you've had but six days to catch up on this. So I'm sorry if I, you know, it's all over the internet anyway. So if you can't figure that one out, mm, tough tough um, but I'm not going to give it all out but I'll just say that I was I, I was digging it I was digging it I, I liked it and I think I'm extremely jealous of uh, oh what's his face um, you know who I'm talking about um, the guy from Oh, what's that? What's that? Um, the guy uh, who's directing it, uh, Favreau. Favreau. I'm insanely jealous of him, but I'm stoked that you know someone like him uh, can do so good with the the show. And you know, and it's just not you know. I mean, he's an honest big fan, and so I'm I'm happy about that. So it's not like me hating on him just because I wouldn't want to. I don't know if I could handle the. I don't know if I ha I would I, right now I just don't think I have a I would have to have a clear vision and obviously he did have a clear vision of what he wanted to do so that was really good and it shows I mean it shows that there's a passion in the show and, and from what I see there with uh, 
the work that's being shown and done. It's, it's uh, you know, people are fans. Oh man, I cannot seem to get this face right. Guys, if you guys could have seen me when I was working on the Jimi Hendrix, boy, they did that one. You went through some changes, big changes, and yeah, it was a struggle bus for sure. But it, you know, I was happy with the end results. I'm happy it's in a new place, home. Uh, no thanks to FedEx. Uh, shove it, FedEx. You guys have really screwed me on that one and I will not forget you for that so unless you guys can make it right we will see but you know I, I don't I think everyone has a love or hate affair with the um, <clears throat> deliveries and from that point on I myself will um, I myself will never ship a charcoal drawing or any kind of painting glassed ever 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 again never um if you want to buy charcoal from me uh good luck you better come to my studio and pick it up because i'm i'm not shipping it that was a disaster it was a complete disaster and i was mortified <laughs> i'm not going to go into the details i'll just say i was mortified and about what happened i just It was, yeah, not a cool experience to say the least. So, FedEx bad. That's all I've got to say about that. Um, so, I'm going to try and use my thumb there to do a little bit of detail. <sighs> I'm just trying to capture the essence of this and I'm not sure it's getting there yet I'm, I'm probably going to end up let's see what time is it uh, oh, it's 9.52 I'm probably going to go a little bit past because I did really get a late start and I wanted to make sure I did an hour of broadcasting so I'm at 33 minutes so okay I can I can power on for at least a half hour more that I can do um So yeah, uh, FedEx bad, and uh, yeah, I, I don't really have a, a great recommendation for any of the services. I've I've seemed to have been screwed by them all, to some degree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, just is like, can somebody just promise not to like trash my paintings and shipping, or packages in general? I mean, it's not just been paintings; it's it's been other stuff too. And it's just, you know, um, you know, lost packages. I've had, you know, um, yeah, it just, it just sucks when, when that happens. So, yeah. Um, I can't, I can't see if anybody's got any comments. Um, so I just see check mark boxes so if you've commented I can't see it so at least not that I can tell and I wish this thing had an alert but it doesn't oh I mean I think it's supposed to give me an alert if somebody comments so if you were there out there watch me um, I would love for you just to even say test um, I won't I promise I won't uh, shout you out or anything like that but I'm sorry about a uh, false starting earlier but I just was not happy with the fact that it was showing um, I was really un it was really uncool for it to show like a past feed with names up there and I just was like that's not something I want or what I appreciate so I just thought I could get rid of it and it just wouldn't let me get rid of it um, I had to basically go and zap the feed which was you know you hate a false start but you know and you got a learning curve and I just you know what can you do <clears throat> I 
So, um, oh, 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 oh. So one of the things, um, I'm just gonna uh, nerd out about. Mm, anybody that knows me knows my favorite. One of my favorite bands is Calexico, and they. I just found out. I got an email. They're gonna release new albums this April, and they've already put out a track, which is super cool. So, um, if you haven't um, listened to um, Calexico, I would highly. This is what happens when I don't like what I'm doing. I just scrape it away. Um. <clears throat> yeah, they're releasing a um, album and this April, but you can listen to the first song. Um, and I'm gonna buy the album. And yeah, so I'll, I will definitely be. You know, I always love supporting my favorite bands in every way I can. I'm hoping they will go and tour because I will go see them. Um, hopefully once this COVID crap is over. Me and my son, the last concert we saw was the Dead Kennedys and it was a great concert. Um, we really enjoyed it. And But then shortly after COVID came and we, we, that was it. That was all she wrote. I mean, nothing else. Wow. Which really sucked. You know, um, yeah, uh, me and my son love to go to concerts and, and check out bands, and we like a lot of the same music. So, but that doesn't seem to be the case for a little bit. Um, yeah, especially on indoor concerts, that's a pretty much a no go. Okay, I don't know if I've made this face too long. Um, we we'll shall see. I'm gonna drink a lot of coffee today. I stayed up playing around with the setup, hoping that it would work for me, so I wouldn't have the false start that I did. But you know, it happens. So let's try another flat and get some get some work in there clean that up a little bit yeah that's a little bit better try to get the highlight of that cheek mm, I've got to get the angle of the eye it's just not right yet so a lot of things have to come together just getting the right Perfect paint strokes for it really is what? What it's about for me is just, you know, having that perfect paint stroke that, you know, captures everything. That one stroke. There's just simplicity sometimes. Sometimes you just have to put a couple of them down, but getting there it's getting there so so as I was saying before we got a workshop coming in May um, I'll be happy to release the details once I find more uh, uh, everything is ironed out and I'm doing a procreate digital one in August and I'm looking forward to that one as well and that one's pretty much on the books. That's I, I don't know if there's a cost for it though. Um, I don't know. So I'll if there is, I will put up the I will put up the uh, link and all the information as it nears. But um, you know, we shall see. So if you're watching me, I would I would greatly appreciate if you could. Just comment um, on here if it lets you comment. Um, right now, I don't see anything, so I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or 
I've got set up wrong. I don't know. So I can see I can comment, but I just want to make sure that you know there's no questions or anything. Then a lot of people are shy out there. They just want to lurk. And that's okay. I don't mind lurking. I don't mind lurking. You can lurk all you want. No sweat off me because I'd be here doing this even if there isn't anybody here because I'm just trying to hold my feet to the fire and, and just get some painting done. Really. Um, and warm up. After having a slump for a bit, it really, you know, it takes a, takes a little bit to get back in the swing of things. And so I figured, I said, well, let me see what I can do to warm up. You know, something like that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try to get a little definition there. And. Let's see if I can try and get that feel for what I want. Oops, I had no idea that I hit that. Well, that's no cool. That's not any good. Switch it around. There we go. I I didn't even hit in that area. That was weird. All right. So I'm glad I had some highlights in my hair. I'm gonna move on because I'm getting stuck in one spot it's coming together a little bit I almost feel like I need to push the eyes up a little bit I really do I think I'm going to push up yeah well let me just let me just a little bit of more definition in this lips to make sure I'm not yeah I'm, I'm not seeing it I've got to I've got to push some things around because it's not really working out the way I want so let's mix mix get some colors in there and start pushing some things around sometimes it's just that one little stroke that you make and it makes everything come together you know makes everything come together but I don't <laughs> you know but that's the thing about doing these is that I'm just I'm not coming together yet it's getting there I just have to have faith it's going to work out Gotta have faith it's gonna work out. Don't know how it's gonna work out sometimes, but you know, you know hopefully you can get get things in the right place at the right time and then it starts to jive. Not always, but in a lot of instances it just starts to jive and oh my god, it's a great feeling. You know, you feel like you've nailed it. Push that up a little bit. And there's too much highlight on that right eye. It just ain't working. Knock it back. Knock it back a little bit. It's too high, so. I'm going to drop the eye up higher. And I feel like it has to come out a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I'm not sure how, but you know. Mm. I need more of a tilt. I really do. I've got to tilt that. I'm not getting the tilt that I need so I can already see that's a problemo. So I'm going to work to try and tilt that more. Uh, you know, let's just, let's, let's 
create some havoc here. Let Mr. Fingers knock some things out of the way. Uh, maybe I can re do a facial <laughs> readjustment here. Facial readjustment is right. Push this up. I'm just not. Let's push this up higher here too. There. Here. And let's go back to basics. And let's see. Sometimes I feel like I need to not look at it, which is really what I try not to tell it, you know, my students not to do, but sometimes you, you got to force it to where you know that head tilt needs to be. And there's something there and it's not working, so force it. Somehow or another, just, you know, you can get it right you can see like uh just get one part right and then try to work everything else out easier said than done mind you but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna just like trash the whole thing right here damn not me Hmm. So, um, so I'm gonna try this out and totally destroyed it a little bit. And see how this goes. Try and reconstruct it. Mark this in a little bit. And try to make some lines here to I think that's a little bit better. Sometimes it's a struggle to get it just right. Sometimes it's just a struggle just to get it right. Oh. Oh, yeah. It looks like a skirt now, but it's uh, their pants. But I've just blocked everything in, so. I've got to move some things around, but I appreciate it. And I'm going to move just a little bit to put some other marks here to help out. I'm really having a struggle to get that face right. But it's weird. I, like I can't see comments on this half, at least I didn't see it here showing up, which really sucks. Um, yeah, that's all old stuff. Yeah, weird. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'll just probably go to YouTube um, going forward and do these live paintings there because I'm missing out I just it's a better streaming platform than Facebook 
I mean, Facebook has just had so many problems that it's not even funny, and it's it's just not a great experience trying to share all on all three different platforms. It really doesn't make sense to me, honestly, but I'm trying to. We'll see. I mean, I can't say I've hundred percent shot that down, but. video shows up and then thank you Julie for the comment I appreciate you now I know it works but I didn't see it on my camera I've actually got to use a different I've got to use a different um, iPad I got to use my iPad just to see the comment because I can't see it on the, the streaming app so it means I'm probably going to ditch the um, I, don't, I don't know I may just go to Twitch and do there, but um, there's not really anybody there, and I've got more of a following on on YouTube than I do um, on than on uh, Twitch. Twitch, I have like nobody there. It'd be like me starting all over again. It's not that I'm opposed of it, but I'm not sure how to how to get everybody into one spot. You know, but maybe that's what I just need to do is pull the trigger and say, hey, look, I'm on YouTube and there you go. I mean, everybody's got a YouTube account at this point. So I think that's probably what I'll do is I'll just say, hey, I'm going to be on YouTube. And if you want to watch and comment, then great. If not, then uh, I will see you later. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't pulled my tr I haven't pulled the trigger on that yet, but it is definitely something at the top of my brain of like, just because I want to be able to put these out easy. I want to be able to comment. I want to be able to see these comments and the fact that I'm not seeing these comments and um, paying for software to stream in three different places and the experience has been really not good. Makes me think like uh, I've got it all wrong. I'm doing it all wrong, so to speak. If I get that cheap, that's what I like about this particular pose. Is that this is a, a great, great attitude that I would you would see somewhere anywhere USA um, for this. Oh. Too far over. Gonna bring an eye out. And find those spots. There. Sometimes it's just making the right mark. It's getting there. So if you're tuning in, I've been working on this um, for the better part of an hour with <laughs> a lot of technical difficulties, but uh, I figured that I'll push through and I'll get this somehow. Um, I'm learning to talk and chew gum at the same time, so that's always fun too. When you can talk and chew gum at the same time. Not always easy, but you know, it's sometimes it's possible sometimes it's not um i'm glad that the audio from what i'm testing out here the audio sounds so much better yeah it sounds so much better i just did another test just to make sure and so that's so much better than where I, where it was so i'm, I'm happy about that but just have not happy with the way that trying to get this set up earlier just it was like a fail and it was like I kept having one one obstacle after another 
just to get going. And of course, I got a late start, so then I guess everybody's like, oh, I guess Doug's not going to post, which is not my intent. You know, it's kind of like having a TV program and nobody shows. All you get is color bars. I need to do a roll on this because it's just, I'm getting, you know, just to knock it back a little bit. Now I know where my issue is, I've got to push, push this out a little bit. Chin's right there, I just need to angle the face. I keep going down and I need to angle it more. I think that's my problem is I'm trying to get it right on that angle and it's not. It doesn't feel like it's happening for me here. So, so I'll see. You know, try to get the right just the right strokes on this and right, we'll try to loosen this up a little bit. Make some more marks. And trying to capture that highlight of the hair. Mm. It's getting there. Sometimes these things just take time. They just, you got to be patient with it. I'm just not. Keep working it, but not force it sometimes. Because sometimes, you, when you force it too much, it just is. You're you're not making the right decisions. So, I'm trying to make some good decisions here. Loosen it up a little bit, and probably do some destroying. And then we've got a little bit on that jacket right here. That's and there's some blue in that jacket, which I'm just noticing now. So I'm trying to capture some of the essence of it. some interesting marks so we're at an hour I'm still I'm still chasing this one so I think I'll, you know, I'm feeling like I at least got to get it to a, a, a place of resolve at least try to you know where I feel like it's it's somewhere, but not, you know, you only get that unfinished look. So if you're hearing that, that's clink clink. Someone using the ice maker. All right. Some marks here. 
there. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit confident about that. There, that's closer. Closer to where I was going for it. Just a little bit. Get these eyes up there. See, I've got an interesting eyelash. Uh, I mean, eye shape. So I'm gonna capture that without butchering it. I'm feeling it's over rendered, which is not easy. Not easy at all. in here and try to get a little cooler, a little bit more cooler brows here. Try to get a little bit, so I, yeah, I can't tell if anybody's commented, which really sucks. Um, Thanks for the thanks for the tip of the um, trying to maybe give an invite. Yeah, so I definitely consider that um, a uh, invite. I don't. Um, I I definitely will keep that in mind. Um, the invite that would be kind of helpful. Yeah, I do. I do. I can see that. As far as like an invite to hey I'm gonna be painting and come join me I did a little bit more I didn't announce this at all today because honestly I just was things were just kind of I was wondering it's like am I really gonna be able to paint live tonight or not I just didn't know if I was going to be able to or not <laughs> to be honest and I was like I don't want to make a commitment and then bail because I almost didn't make it to be perfectly honest um, but I, you know, oops. So there we go. See, I, I'm really having a trouble with this face, and it's just I want to get it to feel natural, not forced. And it feels so forced. Feels so forced on this. I don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna step back and make sure I don't burn myself on my heater. too um, small there that helps a little bit
give me a little bit of tone here. to have that really all the way up. It's a little bit better. Yeah, it'll work it. Doesn't feel right though. I'm gonna try and Quite what I was looking for, so let's try. Maybe I need to have the hair come over a little bit. Maybe that's it. I've got it too far high and it just needs to come more like here. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I just need to. things we just try to do try to do it right push it see what you can make of it it's not always easy Make some faster decisions here without making it worse. Without making it worse. And I'm going to go back to this brush, our big fat one. Try and get some dark areas. I'm getting the head tilt right, but it's uh, just trying to get it to where I'm happy. That's the thing about these portraits is sometimes you just have to do them over and over and over and over and over again, nonstop to get them to where you can feel like you can nail one without feeling like. Uh, Oh my gosh, a complete failure. And that does happen to me sometimes. It's like, I feel that all the time. Lately, it's a complete and total failure. When, you know, you gotta pick it up, <laughs> make, it, make it work. Make things happen. Let's go cooler maybe.
little darker in some areas. I feel like I'm finally getting this face to have some kind of emotion. That's really been a struggle though, to say the least. Now I feel like there's certain things that, like, okay, I can kind of start to feel. I'm digging it a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. This needs a little bit of definition here and here and, you know, just to get things right. Just to get them right. Just a little mark here and there that lets me know I'm on the right path. So, all right, let's see if I can get just. It's getting there. I'm feeling better about this. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm feeling a little bit about the way. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better about it. So, um, I don't know where I'm at from here. I think this is where I'm back on choice work. I wish I could have gone there a whole month ago. There you go. Hey. So I see. Thanks for the comment. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I've, I've, I'm just gonna push this to YouTube because of this thing. This um, I'm using Streamlabs audio, and it was um, Streamlabs, not audio, but Streamlabs, and it was supposed to, you know, it was, it was publicizing. Oh yeah, we'll uh, we'll get, you know, you can see everybody's comments from all feeds, and that's been further from the truth. I haven't seen it, and I'm missing comments, and that's, you know. Everything I wasn't trying, to, I was definitely trying not to, you know, avoid missing what I'm already missing. So I appreciate, um, Moto Bomb, I appreciate your comments, I really do. So thank you. Um, and I agree with you, you know, you said the lighting could be better. So I hear you on that. And I will, I will work on that. Um, I will definitely work on that. I've got, I mean, to kind of give you an idea, I've got lights on here. It's, I mean, it's like I've got lights as, 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 class, I mean, there's a light, like, literally right up here. I'm touching it. There's a light there, and so, um, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't normally paint with that much light, but I realize I'm under video, so I'm not making excuses. I'm just, you know, telling you that, you know, an effort to put lighting in here has been made. I'm just not.
Um, let's see that. I'm just gonna probably try to go to one platform. This is crazy to try and do multiple ones. It just seems insane. It's uh, from a mobile point of view, yeah, I just don't see it's gonna work out. Too much highlight. It's funny. You can just make one mark. One mark. Oh, hey, Dean. Thank you for the comment. I appreciate it. I, do. I finally saw it now. But I'm not getting any kind of alerts. Yeah, I'm not getting any kind of alerts. It's supposed to, like, make a noise. And I'm not hearing it. So I don't know if it's because I, I just don't know. Um, so I'm probably going to switch to YouTube to uh, see if I can make this better. All right. Uh, it needs to be darker. These eyelids are now too bright. So I've got to make them darker. That's the thing, is it's just all these little subtle things that are now it really just ruined the eyes. <laughs> I ruined it. I sure have. Now I've gotta tweak it out a little bit. Of I don't know what I've done, but this does. I'm going to try that. And there's too much. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. See if I can tweak this a little bit more now. Sometimes where you have to have a really fine detail brush to kind of get it right. All right, at least I'm. Oh, battery's low. So yeah, I kind of figured I was gonna tweak the battery a little bit. And that's what happens with what you've got. So let's go ahead and I mean, just got a few more minutes I think on this to, to try and. Get there. I've got the face at least somewhere manageable. If I can push this out just a little bit more. I've been painting for how long have I been painting for now? Uh, an hour and 20 minutes. So. Too terribly bad either. So let's see if I can give some insinuation to these hands. I mean, these fingers, I should say. Mm. Try my flat. I almost forgot about that. Let's see if I can add some depth to this. Sometimes I hate spelling things out, so I always love 
artists that can kind of just nail everything in just a few stro beautiful strokes and just get it and you're just like wow it's magic when they do it pure magic okay let's feel like I've got some let's go a little bit further that phone goes out further so let's do that Oops, too much on the white on the bottom. Yeah. That feels like I'm getting somewhere. Add a little bit of more touch ups to this. Come on. There. No, I'm starting to feel good about this. <laughs> just as the battery runs out, go figure. The battery's running out, and I'm just starting to feel good about this. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm having fun now. I'm finally feeling a little bit more at ease with what I'm getting. That's all you can hope for. So, um, yeah, uh, I missed that comment, and that's the problem. I can't, can't see the. Oh, there we go. And yeah, see now, I can't see the comment. Go figure. It's supposed to show me that. I'm gonna give up on Streamlabs. This is too. This is bozo. I mean, it's just complete and utter bozo. See comments on this. Yeah, Dean, I do remember you absolutely, and thanks for chatting in. I appreciate it. I'm probably going to go to YouTube and and stick with it because I'm just. Facebook just makes it such a pain in the butt to just try to connect with all the other ones. Whereas YouTube, I can I can probably just do directly, and I'm just less less hassle. I mean, I just I really want to make this. If I'm going to be doing this every night at the same time, I've got to make it easy, and I can't I can't like stress myself trying to get to just every single channel. It's just too much. so to speak so I'm gonna try and put a little bit of I know I have only a little bit more so I'm gonna try to put some cooler colors in here and there try to insinuate get that curve of, of yeah just to kind of insinuate those fingers Without spelling it out you know um, that's what I love about trying to paint let's just try to get you know try to get that without having to spell it out anyways let's go ahead and knock some of this white out and And yeah, so hey everybody, it's uh, we've hit. I've got. I'm gonna give it five more minutes and pray that I don't kick out on battery. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna quit. So I put an hour and a half in here, thirty minutes more than I wanted to. But you know, the honest truth was that this uh, this is a struggle loss, man. I mean, it just really. Getting this thing, the whole thing to stream live on three different channels and supposed to make it right just didn't happen. It just didn't do what it was supposed to do, which really 
bugged me. So, but you know, it is what it is. And it's a learning process. And so I'm going to be trying to do this tomorrow. Um, if you're watching, I'm going to be trying to do this tomorrow. And I hope you'll turn in. Um, probably just going to put a link in and just add it to it. Hey, I want to be on YouTube because this whole Facebook thing really just ticked me off. They, they should be easy and it's not. It should be easy and it's not. So, whatever. Just roll with the punches. You know what I mean? Just roll with the punches. That's all you can do. But so, if uh, anybody wants to comment, Um, if anybody would like to see me continue this tomorrow and finish this up, um, I'll be happy to do so. And so just let me know in the comments. I'll probably take a photo of this as well. Um, and just, you know, finish up from here. And we're not, we are at, I've got two more minutes, so I'm going to try to make a little bit of some see if I can get a little bit of that lower hand without over rendering it but we shall see Put a little bit in there. I'm probably rushing this and need to be willing to let this one go, so to speak. But yeah, all right, I've got one more minute, so see if I can get where I need to be on this. Mix, mix. a little bit more cool it off a little bit All right, where are we at? We are at, oh yeah, there we go. Everyone, thank you for tuning in. Uh, thanks for the struggle bus with me on this. This was tough. Um, this was frustrating. Sorry about the false start for earlier. And I will try to make sure that uh, everything goes smoother um, tomorrow. I may have to go and buy some more toys but uh, thanks for hanging in. This was an hour and a half. Um, mostly that first part was me toying around for 30 minutes trying to get this thing to go. Uh, so false starts today, but, you know, um, I'll post up what I've got and say, hey, does anybody want to see me finish uh, finishing painting this out? And if so, then, yeah, that's what I'll do. So, all right. Uh, all right, well, let's see if I can switch this I will see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to try and broadcast again at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will see you then. Thanks, and take care.